Hello everyone and welcome back to the Econobox Garage. In this week's episode of our bug eye build, we'll be continuing to work on the floor pan on the passenger side. First off, hopefully off, will be the spring plate and then from there we'll uh, clean it all off with a wire brush on the angle grinder and figure out how much we'll actually have to cut out in order to repair it. Before I started cutting things up, I thought I would do a kind of a side-by-side -side comparison of the existing floor pan. Obviously it needs to be replaced. And the replacement that I got from Bug Eye Guy. First one is up in this uh, corner here. There's uh, the bolts for what would be the, the accelerator pedal, but this is a left-hand drive car, so those aren't needed anyway. Uh, but there's also a grommet in here with a bit of a reinforcing plate around it which doesn't appear on the replacement. Another one is there's a little drain mechanism here. There's actually a hole in the sheet right about here behind and the idea is that water would, any water that would collect in this footwell which is the low point would come out that and get blown out that hole. For replacement panels I uh, don't seem to have that on there. And then the other one I noticed, there's little uh, slots or louvers in each of these areas here. Uh, obviously that one's all gone. But you can sort of see it right here. And another one over here and that, that one there. Those uh, also do not appear on the replacement ones. And uh, so I guess the debate, the question is, uh, do I go to the bother of putting those in or just leaving it as it is? The other one I just noticed on this particular one is it has the captive nuts at, for the seat rails at the back. And there's the other one there. And as you can see, compare on here, there's that one there. But for the front pair, Captive nuts on the, ex on the existing, you can see there, but just the holes on the replacement panel. So those are just some differences that I've noticed so far uh, from the original floor pan to the replacement. I think that's it for this week. I've got a milestone reached and I got the first piece of the passenger side floor pan removed and a bunch of the spot welds cut with my spot weld cutter. But I think I'll leave it there for now and then next week I will start uh, cutting out the panel here. I think I'm going to cut, make my initial cuts before I start prying off the uh, the spot welds apart and, uh, and that'll give me an idea. It looks like I may have to make a couple of patches on this uh, reinforcing bar that goes through the uh, 
the floor above. I can just see a couple of spots right in here. But uh, I don't think I'll need to do too much. Well, thanks for joining me in the Econobox Garage this week. Please be sure to like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh,